back on the wing king. Uh, may I take your order, my master? Ah, uh, yes. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Asiago back at you again on 3 a.m. Thoughts. How's it going? Oh, well, not very great. What's 3 a.m. thoughts? Uh, uh, well, okay, well, that's not important right now. Like, so, you know, I mean, sorry, I, I just turned on my microphone set, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of recording a podcast as I, you know, as I go. Oh, okay. Oh, well, welcome to Wing King, my king. Oh, what do you want to order? Oh, uh, so, here's the thing. It's not my birthday today, but I really want to hear you do the jingle. Please, do the jingle, do the jingle. <laughs> Do I really have to? Like, oh, please. I, I mean, come on. I, I, I'm a customer. You know, I, I, I am, you know, quote unquote, your master, right? Oh, okay, fine, my master. Okay. Wing a ding ding. Happy birthday to you, my dearest king. As may your day be filled with glee as you receive 12 wings for free. <laughs> okay, cool. I love getting wings for free. Alrighty, yeah. Uh, so I'll go ahead and take those wings for the large Mountain Dew and a uh, side of fries. Okay. Uh, 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 I'll be six ninety nine at the window. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Okay, George is calling me. Okay. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on? Dude, where are you at? Like, we're, we're over here at the building where Mr. Bill's... Uh, you know, he's, 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 he's getting tortured right now. Hey, we, we, you're missing. Where are you? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just, sorry, man. I'm just getting some wings right now. I'm very hungry. Come on. You know, we, we, we just got through the whole, you know, North Pole. We, we tra- teleported everywhere. Dude, it's been a while. I got... I, um, a man got to eat, you know? Dude! How can you be eating right now? C- come on, get over over here right now but but my wings please get over here look okay look i am getting very hangry right now and i need my wings okay so you the wixer and freaking polar blast you can all just wait a second just keep an eye on mr bill make sure he doesn't die but just in case if they start doing some wacky things to him like you know they're gonna whack him upside the head with a baseball bat or something i just do what you can, like, it cause a distraction, or, or just blasting their guns blazing, I don't know. Just don't, don't let anything happen, don't, I gotta get my wings, man. Fine, fine, whatever. Okay, you get your stupid wings. I, 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 I'm gonna try to save Mr. Bill myself. Okay, well, g- g- good luck with that. Anyways, okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Alrighty, well, let's wait for these wings. <laughs> Alrighty, well, uh oh, wait, sir, polar blast. Okay, so we got a little bit of a problem here. What is it? Well, okay, so please calm down, everybody. Um, so Asiago is getting some wings right now, and he's not gonna be available. What do we even need him for? I can just go in and start fighting all those mole people. Uh, yes, and I guess, and my nanotechnology is now always charged, so I can always go in there and just do my, well, my magical thing, you know. But, uh, but I, I don't know why he needs to be with us, but uh, look, he's getting his wings, and he, you know, actually, you know, he's kind of the plan coordinator, so we, we can't actually do anything yet until we get our plans, you know? And uh, you remember that giant diagram he drew? Well, he has it with them for some reason. Oh, well, that would be pretty useful to have. And, oh, yes. Oh, actually, I can use my nanotechnology to scout out the building. Let's see. Oh, let's see what we got over here. Okay, so we have a map of the entire uh, the entire ventilation system. We can go, we, you can crawl into the ventilation system again, and you can see where they're at, and I'll follow you along. How are you going to follow me along? You can't even fit in the ventilation shaft. Well, that's a, that's a very good question. Maybe I can use my nanotechnology to shrink me down. Let's see if I was. Oh, okay. No, that hurts. Not hurts. Okay. No, no. Okay. Abort. 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 Okay. No, that, that actually really hurts. Uh, well, it looks like science can only go so far. Right. Anyways, while well, well, I figure out a plan. Uh, actually, yeah, let's, let's figure out a plan while we wait for us. Y'all gonna get his stupid wings. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad somebody agrees with me. Besides, he, he's going to Wing King. Wing King sucks. Yeah, I, 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 I prefer Buffaloes. You know, the place down the street right next to Wing King. Oh, yeah. I like that place better myself. Uh, even though I don't really like wings, but they, they have some great thighs, let me tell you that. Oh, yeah, I, I, I do love thighs myself. And the food, too. Okay, well, let's create a plan. 
Why are you doing this? Please, please end the set of ones. Ow! Oh, why'd you do that for? I ain't playing with games though with you, no fool. I ain't playing no more games with you, fool. No, where's my lunch money? Your lunch money? What do you mean? Look, ow! Look, look, fool. I ain't playing around. No, you got my money. You've been, you been, you, you been stealing my money, fool. I haven't been stealing anything. I swear to you, fool. Yeah, I've been lending you money for the past 18 months, and I got none of it back. Now I've been charging you interest too, so I need some more of that money back, fool. So what have you been doing with my money? <laughs> I, 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 I said I'll give it back to you. I had a, I had a safe over there at my church, fool. I mean, you just went to your church, but there wasn't anything in there. It was entirely empty. Entirely empty, fool. What you been spending my money on? Look, look, please. I, look, I, I, just stop hurting me. Just let me think. I, I gotta figure out what happened. Like, I, I, I swear to you, I, 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 I'll get you in back. I just gotta find a world. What? 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 What do you think my money just, what, just grew legs and walked away? What do you think? Some some other kind of gang went into your church and, start, and started walking away? Oh, uh, oh, maybe Jesus Christ himself came back and he, maybe he needed some money to, to get himself some wings from Wing King or something like that. And he, he went on, you know, uh, spending all my money. <laughs> no, please don't be ridiculous. But, okay. I, I just, I, 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 I gotta think, please, can you wait a second? Look, fool, I'm getting real hangry right now. I'm real hangry right now. And without my lunch money, I can't get no grub. I can't get no grub without my funds. You're a gangster. Can, can't you just shoot up the place and get some wings yourself? Oh, well, fool, I could. But then, fool, why would I want to do that whenever I could just get some money out of my funds? You know, my funds, thousands of millions of dollars of my funds. But none of it ain't there. And where are they? God knows what. So why do you be doing my money? You better fess up, boy. I'm getting real impatient. <laughs> Please, look, I, 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 you, 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 you just gotta, you gotta be patient. You gotta. Wait. I've been patient long enough. You know, I'm gonna get my, 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 my furry over here. Yo, Mister, what, 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 what's your name? I told you, don't call me a furry. My name is Alex the Fox. And you know what? I'm getting real impatient myself. You see? You know, I, 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 when we raided the church, you know, I, I, I purposely broke broke a glass window. You know, one of those stained glass windows. And look, I, I, I have a piece. I have a piece of the stained glass window. And I just want to stab it into this guy real bad. Can I please stab him? Oh, please don't. Not no, no, not with the stained glass. That cost us so much money to paint. What'd you say for? You'll be spending my money on stained glass windows? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Like, please, I, it, it took a lot of money to, to get it done, and he just broke it. If you should be mad at anybody, it should be him. He's the one wasting your money, fool. You're the one wasting all my money. You've been borrowing money for the past 18 months, and I haven't even seen a dime yet. You, you have any dime, so you let me look in your pockets. No, 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 please. Don't, no. What are you doing? No, 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 no. No! What are you looking at my pants for? Fool, I ain't seen a penny, I ain't seen a dime, I ain't seen nothing on you. Now, fool, you better fess up what you've been spending my money on. Please, guys. I, I can explain everything, okay? I'll, I'll just think as I go along, just please don't hurt me. I'll tell you everything. Just please don't let this furry here stab me. Fool, I told you. You know, I, 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 I freaking told you. Playing no games, you know, and I, I told you I'm not a furry. I'm Alex the Fox. I'm gonna stab you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 that really hurts. Oh, 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 blood. I see blood from my from my belly. Oh, oh, ow, it hurts. Oh, oh. You, 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 you better hurry up, fool. Oh, my colleague over here, you know, he's uh, he's he's gonna stab you like he's gonna stab you the next week, fool. You may not even live the next week. You might be bleeding out your uh, man your blood so thick it look like ketchup but anyways fool you 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 better stop fessing up right now <laughs> please you just give me just i already gave you enough chances fool all right come on gang you ready come on i'm gonna give him a few shots wait a few shots wait don't work fool they just rubber bullets but that don't mean they ain't gonna hurt wait what oh, 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 oh. okay Oh, those really do hurt. Not the but they really do hurt. Please, guys, can you please stop this? Boy, I ain't doing it. I ain't stopping none. I ain't stopping none, boy. <laughs> oh, please, can you stop me? Huh? Why do you have one aimed at my forehead? This won't be for good luck, fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. 
No, it really does hurt him. <laughs> oh my god, this fool keeps on crying. You know what? Hey, why boy, give me your bat right here. I'm gonna smack this dude upside his head. You know, I can't stand his damn crying anymore. No, oh, please don't, don't go. No! Oh, that really hurt. Oh, <laughs> that really did hurt. All right, fool. Now, I need you to answer a few questions for me. Can you do that? <laughs> okay, fine. What do you want me to answer? <laughs> All right, fool. What you been spending my money on? Okay. Well, let's go back. I spent some of your money on some lottery tickets. You spent some money on lottery tickets, fool? Fool, you deal wasting my money already. I ought to slap this butt off you. <laughs> no, please. Please don't. Okay. No, I, I, it's not what you think. I actually won. I, my lottery ticket. I actually won. I won $250,000. Dollars. I, that was actually that's actually quite a bit of money, right? Fool, you won that much money. You could have paid me back here, so <laughs> Okay, I, I know, but uh, you know, it, it just I mean, had all that money, and it was so enticing. You know, it, it was just, it was just so great how finally having money. You know, I have about twelve jobs, and I can't I can't even keep a cent because I keep getting into trouble, or I keep doing a lot of things, and you know, I I keep having to spend that money, so. But now, just for the first time ever, I had all that money all at once. You know, and I, and I showed it to my sister, and I'm like, Oh, sister, look at this. The Lord has blessed us. You know, he gave us all this money for the lottery. And look at this. You know, we have a ton of cash. And, and then my sister was like, I, uh, you know, wait, uh, listen, we should take it to the casino. And I'm like, p -p -p please. Uh, and I told her, please, we should not do that gambling because against the Lord. But then she was like, why well, you did the lottery? How is that any different? I'm like, okay, well, get to the point. Fool, get on with it. Okay, okay, okay. So we, so me, me, my, me and my sister, you know, we, we took it to the casino, and then, well, let me be honest with you, we, 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 we kind of spent it. You spent it all, fool. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did. I, uh, 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 arguably, but uh, okay. So what I did first is was I, 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 I put about ten, I, I put about ten thousand dollars down, and I got it all back in quarters. I got it all in quarters for what? You need ten thousand dollars worth of quarters for? <laughs> okay, so. No, first I went to the I went to the fountain up at the front, you know, because I wanted to make some wishes. You wanted to make you wasted my money on wishes. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I know that sounds bad. I know I know that sounds bad. Fool, you know wishes don't happen. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't even you believe in some fantasy? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Look, I, I haven't made I haven't made any uh, found wishes in a long time. Please don't judge me. Okay, before it's my money, I'm gonna be judging. I'm judging the hell out of you. Okay, okay, okay. okay look, just listen. Okay, so okay, I I, I, I did spend about five thousand dollars with the quarters, just making random wishes. You know, I started wishing for good luck. I started wishing for good health. You know, I started wishing that maybe you and your gang would just you know fall off the face of the earth. What fool? You wanna say that loud? <laughs> okay, okay, no. I, so and then what else I did was uh, I I I, I uh, you might, please don't be mad please don't be mad you know I <laughs> this this is uh, at least a little less stupid than, than the fountains but uh, I I spent the other five thousand dollars in quarters at the claw machines up at the front now you spent my money on claw machines fool <laughs> yeah because here's the thing I I I, I don't gamble because you know I, I'm a priest. You know, and, and, and you know, and, and besides, you know, I, I, you know, I, I wanted, I wanted to make my time worthwhile over there. The casino, while my my sister was spending the rest of the money, you know, just gambling, you know, the slot machines, and, you know, the poker tables, and all that, all that jazz. You know, she was having her fun, and I wanted to have my fun, but I didn't want to gamble, so I went to the claw machines, and there was this cute little fox that I wanted. I kept on trying to get it, but I was spent over five thousand dollars in quarters. And I still couldn't catch it. Those things are rigged, fool. How could you not know those things are rigged? What, what, what? You, you stupid? Okay. Oh yeah. Maybe I am, but I spent five thousand dollars and I have nothing to show for it, fool. Yo, you got, oh, you got some to show for it, all right? You got five thousand. Yeah, you got five thousand dollars in debt, man, fool. Yeah, I better I'll slap it. Ow. Okay. Oh, oh, please stop hitting me, fool. I hit you up, my boy. I hit you up as much as you waste my damn money. Ow, 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 okay, okay, uh, uh, hear me out, okay, uh, 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 I said I'll tell you everything, so uh, I'll continue to tell you everything, so, uh, I, I, you're gonna be mad, again, but you're not the only person I owe money to, oh, you fool, ooh, 
boy, you, 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 you get, you get on my hit list. You, 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 you get on my hit list. Okay, okay, look. Uh, here's the thing. I, I, I do owe someone else money, and yes, that's one of the casino guys. I owe him money, fool. How the hell do you owe someone else money, fool? You way too much debt to be owing somebody else money. What? You'll be using somebody else's money to pay off my money? Then what's his money? What's my money? What's the double the interest, fool? Okay, one. Uh, so, I borrowed 30 cents to play the penny machines at the lottery. Fool! Man, fool let, me, let me tell you this, fool. You said you won't gamble because you were a priest and then you went back in your word? Man, that's being a hypocrite. You know what I mean? You'll you, you just be a real big hypocrite, fool. I'll slap you just for being that. Okay, look, listen here. I may be a priest. I may work at a church. But let me tell you, that's the church. is the place where you find the most hypocrites. That's why we're at church, fool. Don't, don't, don't you dare start preaching to me, fool. I want to know what happened to my money. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so let's keep on going. <laughs> okay, so I borrowed 30 cents to play. You know, to play some of the penny machines. And I kept on losing. So I kept on borrowing more and more and more. And then uh, after about... After about thirty dollars in pennies, you know, I I decided to give up. You know, I and I you know and I told him I'll pay you back later. Uh, I I, I probably the store will pay me next week. And the thing is, I never went there. And for the past eighteen months, and that that's been growing. And so, uh, yeah, I have the other guy to the, the, I have the other guy to worry about. Fool, man, you 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 real stupid. You know that you real stupid. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, I know. Can, can you help me fix it, fool? I am. I'll, I'll tell you how I can fix it. You know, I got the cinder block right here. I can smack it upside your head and make uh, put it in all your problems. Instantly. Please, no, please, no, no. Okay, okay. No, let's not do that. You know. Okay, okay. So here, here's what else that happened. You know. So, you know, so I was walking at the casino and then I kind of. I, 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 I kind of twisted my ankle there. You twisted your ankle? How do you twist your ankle at the casino, fool? Okay, so here's the thing. I was walking down the stairs, you know, my uh, my, 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 my sister, you know, she, she had done gambled all your money away. Fool, she gambled all my money away. Okay, look, please, I, please let me explain. Okay, so she, she gambled all your... She, she gave all your money away, and then you know she she was you know, she spent the rest of the monies that she had you know on drinks and she got she got you know really wobbly drunk you know she got so drunk that I had to walk her down the stairs but the thing is though she got done trying to dance while we're going down the stairs and you know she she, she got me dancing because I love to dance and all she was started grooving I started moving and then we both started falling down the stairs and I twisted my ankle <laughs> fool huh? you 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 real stupid fool you real stupid okay. <laughs> And I had, and so I, I called the ambulance because my foot was feeling really, really bad. I, 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 I legit thought I lost my foot. Like my foot fell off. Like I was some kind of a, you know, a Lego guy, or if I was a Mr. Potato Head. Oh, fool! How stupid can you be? Okay, look. So the, the hospital guys came, and I, 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 I had to pay a, I count quite a fine. It was. It was $25,000, fool! Oh man, you just keep owing everybody money, don't you? Okay, yes. <laughs> you gotta let me explain. Oh no, fool, I ain't letting you explain no more. Alright, Alex, go go choke this dude. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh you do love choking me, fool. Oh, I'm gonna choke you till the day you die, which might be the day. Oh, fool, no, no, no. Don't, don't kill him just yet, fool. We, 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 we still need to torture this guy. <laughs> okay, go, please. Stop. <laughs> All right, fool, let him go. He's about to die. <laughs> but you know how long it's been since I murdered a person? It has been three days. <laughs> uh, my, uh, my blood thirst is growing. It grows oh so ever more, and I just want to kill him. <laughs> Please let me kill him. Fool, maybe at the end of maybe maybe the, at, at the end of this interrogation. But fool, look at. So, all right, what you want to see spend my money on? Cause I, cause I know you didn't spend just all, all my money. You get them borrowed money for the past eighteen months. So, where have you been spending my money on? Okay, so uh, my my throat's still recovering. But okay, so let me tell you, uh, I, my my nephew, my nephew Larry. You know he he I I I I, I regularly buy him beer. You bought him beer? Fool, man, if you're gonna spit on any kind of alcoholic drink, why don't you get daiquiris, fool? They, they better than beer. Man, fool, or some fine wine. You know, some fine wines you can get some of the cheese with. Man, why, why, why you get money spinning on beer? <laughs> okay, 
It's not just any kind of beer. It's you know, it's a special kind of beer, you know? He, he doesn't buy just the normal Bud Lights or Budweiser's, you know? He, I mean, he does like that stuff. He does drink that stuff often, but he, he's a, his main beer, his special beer, he, he gets it from a special brewer. A special brew? Man, yo, yo, my old man, this this brewer better be, yo, this better this true this brewer better be legit, fool. Like what 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 what's what, 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 what's uh what's the brewer? <laughs> okay, so uh, it's, it's it's not a company, it's not a whole factory. It's actually this one lady, you know. It's, it's one lady. She's kind. Of, she looks kind. Of, she reminds me uh, like if she was a witch or something, you know. I, I think her name was Zoan Zo. Ow, ow, what, what was that for, fool? Man, you. you you, you've been spending money, you've been giving my money away to this one random lady to brew some beer for your nephew. Man, for what, 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 what you been thinking, fool? Yo, aren't you using your head at all? <laughs> Like, it's, it's, it's not for me, it's for my nephew, you know, I love my nephew so much, um, even though he's a crippling alcoholic, and I'm, it's probably not a good idea for me to be, you know, uh, feeding into his, well, his habits, his deadly habits, but uh, look, you, you gotta understand, you know, he, he, I, I, I love to do, ow, fool, man, you, 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 you be stupid and stupid every time I talk to you, alright, no, go on, what else do you spend my money on? <laughs> I donated about 15 grand to a church project. You donated 15 grand? Fool, I remember the day you came by with me, you know, asking for 15 grand. I was like, fool, you still have paid all the other grands that you owe me. And then, and then you was all like, man, this is, this is really important. This is, a, this is a family emergency. Fool, the church ain't no family. Okay, for, for your information, the church is a family. You know, it's kind of like that movie Thor, you know, or Asgard's not a place. You know, it's a people, and then, you know, the church is not a building, you know, it's a people. You know, and with the people, we're all family, you know, it's all communal, and that's all fool. I, I told you, it's not what it'll be preached to. All right, so come on, so, so come on now, go on, before I slap you again. Oh, why would you spend 15 grand on a church project? Okay, so, here's the thing. Well, I built a glamorous building, you know, I, well, I didn't do it myself because I have no idea how to do architecture, I don't have any tools myself, you know, and, but, you know, anyways, I hired an entire team, we built this ginormous glamorous building in, in, in the middle of the city, you know, in the, in the gold rush to be the, the, the city's largest church, the city's largest church? Oh man, we don't, no, that's the last thing we need. We need more churches, fool. Man, man you, know, you know what goes on in my neighborhood? You know, churches keep on coming in, but, they, but, man, but the preachers don't do nothing. You know, they don't reach out to my people. They don't try to help at all. They don't, they don't even send an evangelist, man. So what your church going to be doing? What, 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 what was the whole intention of putting a, the largest church in the entire city of Kensno? Well, what was the what was the whole point of that? Okay, look, the entire that was exactly the intention. You know, we wanted the, we we wanted to have the set an entire setting where we can reach out, you know, to the people who are less fortunate, the people who are living in the rough neighborhoods. We wanted to help you guys out, you know, but. The, the, some some bad things happen. What kind of bad things, fool? Well, specifically, your gang, you know, they came in and started tearing up the place. They wanted to do what they wanted to use it for their crimes. And fool, don't you be blaming my, you know, don't you be blaming my family for your problems. Fool, I'll slap you for that. Ow, 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 okay, okay, please. Okay, well, I won't blame you again. But I'll, t I'll tell you this. Okay, so, so once your guys took over, you know, it, it, we actually remember this because... <sighs> you made it into a very large strip club. It is actually the largest strip club in a city. Yeah, fool, that's what I'm talking about. No, 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 you don't understand. We were trying to help you, but then you turned into still a place of sin. You know, the, the whole intention was trying to help you guys, but then you turned into, into, into some, you know, full of avarice, some full of so lust and, and, and greed, and all that. Some that's, some that's completely contradictory, fool. Ow! <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm blaming you. But, but, but on the bright side, now you can get a lap dance during Bible study on Fridays. Oh, fool, man, you know how stupid that sounds. You know, oh, but, oh, oh, what, 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 what's your deal, man? Look, okay, I'm, 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 it's, 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 I know things have gone real bad, and that's a fifth, good 15 grand wasted, but uh, here's another bright side. You know, it's it's membership only. So you don't, you don't have to think about the filthy degenerates coming in for 
uh, you know, for a lap dance on the Bible study, but you know, but uh, you gotta also pay the priest five thousand dollars every Sunday. You know, to keep the place running, and it's it's just a messed up place. Oh, okay, look, I, I'm not. I, there's no way I can make it sound any better. It's a really screwed up place. You know, you guys really screwed it. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I I blamed I blamed your gang again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, not hurt me again, fool, Alex. You know, sick, sick on this guy, sick on this guy. Oh, Shank? No, fool, I said sick on this guy. You an animal, aren't you? You a fox? You a, you a, you a dog? Go bite this dude. What? Please don't bite me, please. <laughs> well, it's been a good while since I've left my animal instincts out. So you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna bite you with my big fox teeth. No, no, please don't. <laughs> Ow! 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 Get him off me! He's stuck in my arm! He's he's stuck in my arm! Oh! 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 So rip! Your arm tastes like bacon for some reason. Uh, that's because I I that's, that's because I just walked through a bacon factory before going to my church this morning. But please, can, can you get off of me? Oh! Oh! Fine. I want to eat a cube bar. I know that I can't eat you guys. <laughs> oh, you surely did taste good. <laughs> Please don't ever say that again. I'm, I'm getting really uncomfortable here. Oh, you go good, good. You you should be uncomfortable. All right. So what? What else you spend my money on? Okay. Uh, so uh, I, I tried helping out my my homeless buddy Randy. You know, uh, uh, so I, uh, you know, he's he's a war he's a Vietnam War veteran. You know, he's he's been homeless for the past you know forty something years. And well, it, it, he, um, he was you know, I was just I was walking by you know the food town one day and I noticed him and I was like, hey Randy, you know what are you homeless for? Why not just buy a house? You know, and that would solve all your problems, right? Fool. You know how stupid that statement you just said, yeah, that statement you said to a homeless guy, no less. You don't realize how stupid that sounded. Why? Oh, what are you homeless for? Just buy a house. You, you don't know nothing about poverty, do you? Despite the fact that you went deep debt, folk. <laughs> okay, well, I, I, I know. I, I, and I was very stupid. I was not using my noggin that day. Boy, clearly, you don't use a noggin any day. <laughs> okay. Look, don't judge me, please. But look, so I was, I was discussing, you know, why don't we just buy your house? We tried buying him a house, but he had really horrible credit, you know. So I couldn't really do that. So we decided, I decided, you know, the, you know, the, the borrow money from you again, you know, for another project. But it wasn't for another church project. It was so we can build a him a house, you know. So we bought him a house, you know. And I told him, you know what? Because you fought in the Vietnam War, you fought for this country, you know. We're really gonna let you, you know, design your own house, you know. Whatever you want, you got it, you know, because you just des you decided to give your lay your life down for you know for the greater cause of America, you know. So you know, and I, and I do appreciate our our Vietnam veterans, actually all of our veterans out there, you know. I deeply appreciate, them, you know. So we so we allowed him, you know, the the the, the you know the design his own house, you know, and I would pay for every little thing that he wanted. If he wanted six toilets in the same restroom, you could have it. As a matter of fact, that's exactly like what he got. Fool, why don't you need six toilets in the same restroom? I don't know. I'll ask Randy. Oh, well, actually, now, now I think of it, he's in a wheelchair, and he has no ha has no handicap bars in, in there. How is he going to get on the toilet? Oh, you did not think this through, did you? <laughs> so, please don't stop judging me. You know, he was going through a lot of things, and I was trying to help a brother out. Okay, so, so, you know, so as we were building it, he kept wanting to pimp it out more and more. You know, so and, and at one point, we added an entire cinema science screen. You know, like at the multiplexes, you know, like the cinema and stuff. You know, we added an entire IMAX cinema size XD screen with 3D capability in this ginormous living room for his TV. You know, it, 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 looked, it looked enormous. It looked like as soon as you walk into the house, it looked like you walked right into a movie theater, and it looked great. It looked really cool. You know, and anything for a video, Vietnam War bit. But, you know, I, you know, it wasn't enough, though. Not without, it just clearly wasn't enough for the guy. You know, he, he wanted a lot more. So, uh, so as we kept on going with the plans, and as we kept on progressing with the house, you know, he had the restroom with the six toilets, you know, he had the special chair that had a built-in toilet, refrigerator, TV set, you know, it was, it was, it was really, it was really pimping this thing out. But, you know, on, on top of that, he put in a whole entire indoor pool that covered the entirety of the living room floor. And, to be honest, I didn't think it would work out, but it did. I mean, uh, just, uh, I mean, if I had a picture, actually, I think I got a picture right here in, in, in my pocket. Look, uh, I'll show you. Look, 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 see, see, look at the 
picture here. You see, see how the entire floor is literally just an indoor swimming pool? Ain't that really? Oh, okay. I was gonna ask you if that was really cool. Fool, that is, man, that's stupid, fool. The dude's in a wheelchair. Well, how, how is he gonna benefit from that? Okay, well, now that you mentioned that, it, it is kind of retarded, but look. Please, but please, you know, he was going through a lot of things. I tried to give him everything that he wanted. Fool, you, 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 man, I am mean, you so stupid, fool. Like, I mean, I, I bet you, I bet you even gave him some, uh, some else up, sir. Like, like some kind of a wild animal pet, you know, like some kind of a, a pet tiger or a pet lion or a pet bear. No, 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 seriously, did you get him, a, did you give him an exotic pet? <laughs> well, funny how you would mention that, you know. So, so we actually that he did originally want a pet lion, tiger, and a bear, you know, so he can raise them all together as cubs, and then he can have them guard the house for, for his moat around the house. You guys build a moat. <laughs> Look, he really wanted to pick this thing up, but uh, here's, here's the thing. So we, you know, we, we, it turns out trying to buy those online is highly illegal and it's also very very dangerous you know and so he, 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 we decided to go try to steal them from the zoo but me being the man of god the priest that i am i cannot exactly do that and we even tried seeing if, if poopa would make a good substitute but poopa is poopa you, you know what i mean who the hell's poopa uh, okay, okay look I, i'm not okay let's not go into details but anyways so I decided, you know, to go out and go out to a missions trip in Africa, you know, so I told Randy, okay, so enjoy your new home, I'm going to bring back, you know, uh, uh, the greatest pet possible, you know, so I went to a mission trip in Africa, you know, I dug a couple of wells, you know, so not all your money was necessarily wasted, you know, we, we, we gave some kids water, you know, and so they don't have to die by, by the, by the, you know, by the jaws of a crocodile every time they wanted to go get fresh water from the river, you know, so ain't that good? Okay, fool, I'll give you that, you know, you help helping out people across the sea i mean if only you would do that for our people too <laughs> well i'm sorry but that was the whole point of the big church from earlier but you know how that went but <laughs> anyways you know so that's all my trip all my time over there in africa you know i i saw this uh, this ginormous mother silverback gorilla giving birth you know and first of all let me tell you this i i i was I've been blessed a couple of times here and there as a priest that witnessed the miracle of birth. You know, it's so amazing that I, I, I fainted one and a half times. You know, during my two times seeing the miracle, you know, and then seeing this third time seeing it from an animal, seeing a baby gorilla come out of her mother, it was great, but too bad it, it, it ended up in sadness because I had to hurry up and steal the baby. What? You stole baby. It was it was the baby gorilla. You know I I, I, I look. I you know how hard it is to try to smuggle a gorilla on a full size male or female gorilla onto a plane. It ain't really easy. Believe me, I tried. The the the. the I almost got caught. I almost got called a, a terrorist a couple times by doing that. Fool. Oh, well, what would you think was gonna happen? Well, why do you think I decided to try to steal the, the, the baby gorilla? You know that's exactly what I did. You know. So I I put him in my little backpack. You know. And we went for a ride on the airplane, so we came back to, you know, to America. And then I went up to Randy's house, his brand new pimped out house. So I know, so I went up to him and I'm like, hey Randy, here's your new pet. He's big, he's mighty, he's a gorilla. You know, and we, he, he's, he's, he, we, we named him Bobo. He was so cute. You know, he, he really loved bananas and coconuts. And you know, he, he, was, he was the best pet out there. But the thing is, he grew up really, really fast. You know, he grew up so fast. In fact, by, you know, by, 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 a, by a year later, he was almost, he was pretty much the size of Randy before he was in a wheelchair. You know, he was really great. Fool, how can he give a pass by? Oh, wait a second. Let me do my math. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, up so fast it was almost like a sun to randy the sun that you can never have because no woman ever wanted to, any to do with anything but the vietnam that you know and this gorilla you know he, he 
know, he was he, he was so great. You know, he wore a tank top, you know, all, all over the house. You know, he you know he'd be like Donkey Kong. You know, he, you know, he he'd be throwing barrels of a beer everywhere. You know, he would have fun all over the house. You know, and Randy told me once that somebody tried breaking into his house. You know, and, and the funny thing is, is that you know he broke into his house and then he saw the gorilla and he couldn't help but he couldn't help it but just laugh. You know, just have a really good laugh. He was like, eh, look at the funny gorilla. <laughs> but then you know, Bobo decided you know that wasn't very funny. He got offended, so that he was like, and then, and then he, he, he mauled him. You know, he maybe wrapped his ear off. <laughs> you know, clean off. You know, that's at least that's what I heard. You know, I mean, I don't think Bubble would do that, but at the same time, you know, he is a, a wild gorilla. You know, so I I wouldn't put that behind him. Wait, what are you doing? <sighs> Miffle, I'm tired of hearing this dude blabble. He's blabbing on and on and on about gorillas for- I mean, I- what, what, what is this? What is this? What is this? Animal Planet? What- 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 what, what am I at the zoo? Am, am I at Moody Gardens? Miffle, man, man, cut this dude's ear off. He wasn't- he wasn't talking about gorillas even ripping people's ears off, man, fool. Fool, you gotta think about the robber, man. Maybe he's robbing- maybe he's not just robbing so we can have, you know, the- you know, whatever, whatever Randy's got in his nice house. Man, maybe he just wanted- wanted to steal something so he can sell it and feed his daughter. You never know. I mean, that's how I started. Man, fool, you you laughing about freaking somebody's ear getting ripped off. Man, you are so messed up. You, uh, uh, yeah, Alex, you see that shank? Man, cut his ear off. <laughs> well, the shank ain't gonna do nothing, but I got a knife here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's, let's cut his ear off. What are you doing? No, 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 my ear. No, ah, ow, ow, my ear, my ear. Ow, ah, oh, 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 my ear. I can see my ear! <laughs> oh man, this is so cool! Your ear is so flappy! Why is it so big? I'm not sure, but it's really fun to play with! Oh! Oh please! Can you just attach my ear back on somehow? No, think about it. You know, we do got some du duct tape in the fridge. In the fridge? Why do you have duct tape in the fridge? Oh, well, I don't know. That's, I, I like keeping my duct tape in the fridge. What? You don't keep your duct tape in the fridge? Maybe I'm gonna give you a choking. No, 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 please, no, no. <laughs> oh, this is getting real fun. <laughs> All right, fool, set it down. Quit the choking. <laughs> okay, okay. Ow. Oh, why do you always go for throat? That it, it always hurts. <laughs> well, you see, I always go for the throat because that's the funnest place to squeeze. You know, have you ever felt your hands wrapped around, you know, another man's oh, neck and then you just squeeze and squeeze tightly and then you, you hope that one day, you know, confetti might pop out of the head like a balloon? <laughs> oh, this, this guy is really crazy. Why did you hire this guy? Oh, fool, he found me. You know, this little, this little dude, he was walking around, you know, killing, you know, chasing people around, wanting to choke them. Yeah, I actually choked one of them to death. And then I cut him up to him, like, fool, well, join my crew. And he was like, hell yeah, you know, so that's, that's what we hear right now. And that was a pretty cool, pretty short story. But anyways, fool, all right, cut, fess up. What else do you spend my money on? <laughs> okay, so, so what else happened was, you know, I saw, so this guy I mentioned earlier, Pumba, you know, he said he's a church congregate of mine, you know? Really fat, really stinky, you know. He's, he's actually he, he's very much in in the literal and in the, in the significant sense a pig. You know, he's very much a pig. You know, fan food Pumba. Why does that name sound familiar? I talk about that food from the Lion King. That's an anime character food. That, that ain't no real person. Oh, let me let me tell you. You know, he is actually a real person. You know, I, I like I, I I I know him. You know, I, I, we actually made a podcast together. And I'm fool. I don't care about that. You know, give me the details. What you spend my money on? What's this Puma? What's this Puma guy got to do with anything? Okay, so. So this Puma guy, he farted really, really hard, you know, at my church one time. You know, it was so hard, in fact, you know, like... <sighs> Oh, oh, I'm getting, oh, oh, I'm, oh, I, oh, I'm getting sick at the, just rem, trying to remember it all. But, okay, so he farted so hard on my church service one time that I had to hire a guy to deep plane the literal crap 
out of the place. I mean, it got everywhere. Like, like, like the, the, the green steam that came out of his rear. It, it, it looked like somebody just put poison gas into the building. In fact, it made everybody start tearing up. It made peop some people's insides start writing from the inside out. You know, it, it was really bad. It was really bad. Had, you know, the guy I hired had to hire an entire team to deep clean everything. And his crap got all over the walls. It got all over the ceiling. It got all over my Bible. You know, and it was, it was terrible. It was really disgusting. It was really nasty. But uh, the guy had to deep clean everything. You know, and, and the guy even contemplated on asking me whether or not to just shut the building down, completely tear it, and just and quarantine the entire place. You know, it was really, it was really bad. I, like, I, I kid you not. I crap you not. It was really, really bad. But... Anyways, Puma Shark was so bad that the government declared the entire 50 foot radius of my church toxic. He declared that it was so toxic that I, I, I had to pay both the city, the state, and the country huge fines in order to not be thrown in prison for you know, t terroristic toxication. What fool? Man, I knew it. I knew you looked pretty worried that one time you borrowed money from me. I knew you was in big trouble. But man, I didn't think you was in federal trouble, man. <laughs> Look, it wasn't even my fault this time. You know, one of my church congregants farted. He farted. That's all he did. He just farted and he created his, his national disaster. Like, I mean, he, I mean, as you can clearly see, my church isn't, you know, it, it, it isn't really quarantined anymore. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe that's why not a lot of people are becoming them. Other than the fact that you're, you you, and your team of ragtags have been shooting up the place every once in a while. But other than that, you know, the, the deep clean. You know, it actually went pretty well, actually. <laughs> you know, I mean, last time we were there, I didn't see any crap on anything. But that's not the point. You know, it was really, really bad. And I'm just be glad you weren't there. Eh, fool. I'm, get, I'm getting tired of hearing about this Puma guy and fart. What, what do I look like? Fourth grade? Well, am I going to laugh at some, four, uh, some fourth grade fart jokes? Huh, fool? Okay. Well, we'll just, oh, go, go, on, go on. What else did my money off? <laughs> okay. So, I paid a pair of brothers. You know, the, the, the fast deliver a large pallet of sleeping floor to me. What? A, a, a pair of brothers? What buddy is talking about? Country bro co? What? Yo, yo, what, 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 is this like a Mario Luigi type of thing? What, 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 who, who, what kind of pair of brothers fast delivers things? <laughs> okay, so... There, you know, there's these two very kung fu ninja guys. You know, one of them is named Ninja Joe, and the other is is named Billy Joe. You know, so and they, they specialize in in uh you know in, in, del in delivering potions and delivering medicine. You know, they're they're they're, they're pharmacists. You know, they're 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 apothecaries as well, as well as as, as, as grand kung kung fu artists. But the thing is, is that. Well, I, I I paid them. You know, the fast deliver a large pile of sleeping fluid to me because, you know, well, let's be honest. You know, I, I, I the, the workplace they gave me the, they started giving me the night shifts more often, and being the store manager and working overnights, you know, it's just it, it, it was it was really bad. It was really really bad. You know, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't eat. I was too tired to do everything. I was a zombie at the workplace, so I needed some sleeping fluid. And I decided, you know what? I saw this one. I I saw this one at the store, but. The problem is that we keep running out of it because everybody has the same freaking idea, you know. So I decided to call the, the, call the pair of brothers, you know, the uh, the, the Joes, and, and then they, they decided, you know, we decided on a good deal, you know, a, a whole pallet of sleeping fluid for the small cost of eighty nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. Fool, you be spending all my money, fool. What, what do I look like? Uh, what do I look like? A, a credit card? I mean, I, I must be credit cards. You fool, what, 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 you, you gonna swipe me? You gonna swipe me? Come, come here. Like, yeah, see, see this dollar lying around my neck? Yeah, go ahead. Slide, you know, swipe me. Sorry, well, I'm just a credit card to you, am I? <laughs> Please don't. You are you're not a credit card. You know, you are very much a, a person loved and endeared by God. Just, <laughs> please, I'm, I'm not gonna kill you, but... <laughs> Look, okay, so, anyways, I, 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 oh, I drink all that sleeping fluid. I drink a, a huge... Whopping three bottles for three nights. I tried sleeping. I tried using up the sleep. They're full of melatonin. They're full of other vitamins and minerals to help me sleep. But the problem was is that they didn't work. You know, and they didn't work at all. And, and, and so I so I tried paying them to beat me up. Wait, fool! You telling me you spent all that money on sleeping food and that didn't work? And then you try pay, paying them to beat you up? Look, I'm getting to that point. You know, so I paid them to beat me up. 
And you know, uh, the whole reason why was so that uh, maybe after being knocked out, after being maliciously beaten by two very great kung fu artists, that I could finally sleep after five days of being awake. Five days straight. You know, I was going nuts. I was going insomniac. You know, I, I was becoming a maniac. You know, I was, uh, I, was uh, I, just, I got past the entire zombie phase. I, I just started becoming a man. I started losing it. You know, I, I started I, being, being a monkey. You know, I, I started going ah, all over the store. And I, it, was, it was really bad. You really should, you really shouldn't have seen me. It was, it was horrible. It was so horrible. And, and what made it worse is that they refused. I know I offered them 12 grand to, to, to try to beat me up. Why, why, why do you keep on trying to offer people large amounts of money? Why do you keep paying large amounts of money, fool? You know you owe me money. You 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 can't be you you just can't be spending money like that. Bro, why do you even still continue to let me give, go, go, borrow money? Why do you still allow me to do so, fool? Man, I, you know, I do what I want, fool. Because I you know I, I do what I want, you do what you want. It's a free world out there, fool. But when the time comes now I want my money back i need my money back fool you know how much a freaking a golden arsenal of guns cost you know how much a golden flow rider costs well it, it costs so much more that i'm having to come interrogate you to get all my money back problem is that you got none at all so how the hell am I supposed to get my golden arsenal of guns and a low rider if I can't get my money back? And you over here, you know, spending all my money on on uh, on, on, on this boo. Okay, okay, look, I, I I get it. But let me continue on my story. It's it's kind of a good story, you know. I kind of I kind of ends in a funny way. So you see, what happened was is that you know after they refused, I, I just went ahead and decided to you know kick a raccoon until it decided to attack me. You know after about good, three good kicks, I decided you know I wanted to go rabbit and I wanted I wanted to kind of you know scratch my face up. You know I wanted to really attack me really good and well, and that's exactly what I wanted. I know I'm sounding like a crazy person right now, but believe me, I was getting real crazy. But anyways, so I, I kicked the raccoon until it decided to attack me, and then I fell back and I hit my head in the car's my, my car's hood and. Well, I I kind of blacked out, <laughs> and well, and my well, when I came to, you know, I woke up in a hospital bed. You know, the doctor said I'm very lucky to be alive, and <laughs> uh, that hospital bill was not very very cheap. You know, at a small cost of fifty thousand dollars. You know, I uh, like they could, uh, they had to do all those operations on me. It, it was not fun. Fool, why do you keep spinning out my money, fool? Man, you, you, man, you're one dumb son of a bitch, man. Yo, 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 silver tie. You know that, fool? I, I know. I know. You no. Know, look, I, working a night shift for me, but I knew it wasn't, it was not a good idea. Not for sleep, not for sanity, not for anything. I couldn't sleep in the daytime worth a damn. But I. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I regret did make, make, making that decision. Oh, fool, okay, so you want so you want to sleep that bad. Oh, man, fool, let me let me wind up my arm right here. I'll, I'll put you to sleep real good. It's bright and shiny outside, so once you once you get away, man, you're, you're going to wake up at 8 p.m. sharp. I guarantee it. Now, let me just give you a nice swing. Oh, please, no, 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 please, I don't want to go to sleep right now. Oh, please, I don't want to sleep right now. I'm not even doing the night shift anymore. Please, don't. Oh, okay, fool. All right. Oh, I, just, I, I promise I won't hit you. Just tell me. What does he spend my money on? Okay. So, here's another here's another story. So, okay. It's kind of long, but here we go. So, my church kept on getting bombed by the local mountain terrorists. You know, and it, 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 it was getting really annoying because, you know, first of all, it's kind, it's kind of weird the whole ge uh, geological, de the, the, uh, the whole geology, you know, of uh, this whole city. You know, we were, for some reason, we're somehow we were surrounded by, you know, forests, plains, and a lot of mountains. You know, and but in the, within these mountains, there are these local mountain terrorists. You know, they're exactly what I, what you would think they were. You know, they're they're terrorists. That, you know, just like from the Middle East, but they live in the mountains. You know, and I don't know what their deal is, but they kept on trying the the, the, the bomb my the bomb my church every week of every service. They kept on bombing, and it got annoying because I had to keep on paying for the repairs. So I paid a small militia to come with me to go stop them because I figured out where their base was via GPS, and then I told the militia. We're gonna go out there and we're gonna win this war and we're gonna save the church. And they're all like, yes, 
Hurrah! So he went over there to Naughton, and you know what happened? <laughs> they gave up after the terrorists sent a suicide bomber, you know, towards us. But it wasn't just any kind of suicide bomber. They strapped three, four, I don't know how many bombs to an elephant. It was a suicide bombing elephant that they stole from the zoo, you know. And it was it was real wild. Let me tell you that it, it was it, it was not it was not very good, you know. Actually, after, after the explosion, you know, I'm so glad to be alive right now. But you know, I, like after the explosion, you know, it, yeah, I I, you know, I I got some dirt on me, you know. I got some blood on me too. And so naturally, I had to I had to rip up my priest costume. Wait, costume? You telling me what you wear right now is a costume? Okay, so <laughs> let me let me get on to that. You know, so yes, my my real priest uniform got way too dirty. You know, many many months ago. You know, and I, I don't own a washer, and and, and I, I really don't want to pay a dollar twenty five at the at the laundry mat. You know, to get my to get my real pre, priest uniform clean. You know, so and on top of that, I have a lot of work clothes that are also getting dirty. So I'm having to buy costumes for those two. But anyways, you know, as, as we go on. You know, I, I bought, you know, I bought a priest costume, you know, from Spirit Halloween for the small, low price of four twenty sixty nine. Four twenty six, not four. What, what, wait, what you be paying a meme? Well, what, 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 why is it, why is it cost so damn much, fo? It's a priest costume, fo. Well, like, it should, it should not be that much. Okay, so the thing is, I needed a special one, right? You know, I needed a size five X. L. You know, it was a very, very large. You know, as you can see, I'm a very large man. You know, and I, and I, and I need, and if I want to wear any kind of costume, I need a, the, the largest size possible. And the thing is, is that they don't always make the largest size available. You know, and so and so when, once I ordered it, you know, I they had to get it from China because they had to use a sumo wrestler as a size reference for the costume. It's actually quite embarrassing, but uh, let, let, let me progress. You know, so anyways. You know, aside from the whole costume thing, so uh, so after the whole suicide bombing elephant deal, you know, I, you know, I, I, I had to, I, I, you know, I had, I had to tear out my priest costume because you know I, I was all full of dirt, all full of sweat, I was full of blood. It was a, it, it was a really un, uh, unpretty sight. It was a very ugly sight. You know, so so what else happened is, is that you know, so I tore off my priest costume and proceeded to shoot them Rambo style. You know, cause all cause all of my militia, they, they well, they're all scaredy cats. You know, they they, they didn't want to fight. They just wanted some action. But then once they got it, they ran away. You know, they're just they're just a bunch of scaredy cats. You know, so I, so I took their guns and I put and I, and I put the magazines on me and I even put a bandana on. You know, and, and, I, and I went all Rambo style. I was like, yeah, you know, I was trying to talk like uh, you know Mr. Stallone, but I. I I, I can't do a good impression of him. But uh, anyways, you know, so, uh, so I started shooting. You know, I started shooting out uh, towards all of them, you know? And it was really cool because I, I felt, for the first time in my entire life, I felt like an action movie star. And it felt super great. It felt super awesome. But the problem was, was that I shot absolutely none of them. Instead, all their bullets hit me because of my blubber all the bullets that were shot on me bounced back like a trampoline and shot all of them down instead <laughs> oh fool man i mean i knew you was fat i mean come on you 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 literally weighing down my chair right now but who fool oh man you you too fat brother you're too fat please don't make fun of me i'm very self-conscious about my weight but look so anyways, after all the bullets bounced back, you know, like, you know, like the rubber bullets, you know, they, they still didn't back down. They, they chased me down to, to my store, in the, to my car in the store parking lot, you know, and, and so once, once they caught up with me, you know, they, they captured me, you know, they, they, they tied my hands behind my back, you know, and they tied my legs too. I was, I was hog tied, you know, it was not very fun. You know, have you ever been hog tied before? It's not very fun. It's not very cool at all. But anyways, they kept force feeding me food from, from the Taco Bell, right, you know, right down the street. You know, so they kept force feeding me taco after taco after taco. You know, in which the, the thing about Taco Bell is I call it Taco Hell because it because it gives me the runs, and I admit it gave me the runs. You know, and, and, and so 
Ah, uh, it, it was not good. It, it was not really good, you know. So, uh, so on top of me just having the runs, and I didn't want to crap on my pants, you know. They they threw me in my car, you know. They locked me in there, you know, and and they and they burned all the toilet paper that I stole from my store right in front of my eyes, right in the hood of my car, nonetheless. You know, it was it was a really terrible sight. You know, I was like, oh, oh, please, you know, it was it was really bad. It was it was really really bad. You know, and you know, I, before. I knew it. I just couldn't take it anymore. No I couldn't hold it in now for one more second. And I let out all of my poo in my pants, which blasted through my pants. That's how powerful this poo was. And it got all over inside the car. The fire department had to come by later and put out the fires, you know, from all the fi from all the toilet paper burning and for the fact that my car was starting to catch on fire. And, well, and they also had to free me from the cuffs, and uh, I, I don't even want to describe how they reacted to all the all the crap inside of the car, to all the crap that covered me, covered my pants. It was a very bad sight, you know. So I, I I just told them, you know what? Don't even bother trying to, to, to clear the car. Just just burn it. Just just let it burn. Let it be destroyed. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. It was my home. My I, my car was my home. And I had to let it burn down because it was just that bad. It was it was at the point of no return. It was it was very bad, very very crappy. I smell so bad. I, 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 it, 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 it was it was just just as bad as the last time I smelled crap all over the place. It was not very good, but it looked just like when Pumbaa, we, we farted all over the church. But anyways, so I ordered some, another pair of 5XL pants, real pants, not not a costume, from the only place that makes them, Fatty's R Us. Yes, I shop at Fatty's R Us. And let me tell you, they are not cheap. I spent the small price of $350 on a single pair. And for another three dollars off, it was, you know, I, I bought another pair for the for three dollars off. You know, it, it was quite the deal. Let me tell you, you know, at least I got a deal. You know, right? Woo! Three hundred fifty dollars. If I buy another pair for three dollars off, man, I ain't no deal. You you literally pay pretty much twice the price, but with the three dollars off, fool. Man, what about with the taxes? You want to tell me what the taxes were? <laughs> I, I admittedly don't want to tell you the taxes. Again, it's Fatty's R Us. The taxes are outrageous. Uh, but anyways, so on top of all that, on top of you know the Mount local mountain terrorists and the burning and the and the pooping and the pants, look. On top of all that, I decided to to rent a large U-Haul truck for twenty dollars a day. I mean, it was only twenty dollars a day, you know. So and that's why I, I asked for that really small loan because you know I was I was only going to rent it for a while. But the problem is, is that it's been over 18 months and I stopped paying about uh, 16 months ago because it was getting really costly. Oh, it's only $20 a day! I know! But it was getting pretty costly because I decided I actually liked the U-Haul better than the car because I had more room in there. And, and too, I, I, again, I wanted to keep it. It was a really good truck. But again, after two months of paying, I decided to just kind of sneakily stop paying it so I can probably steal it, you know, very, very slowly. And, you know, because, you know, and, and after, after a while, it, it finally caught up with me. After me, after me constantly having to move the damn truck every other place, every other street, just so they wouldn't find me easily, they finally caught up with me and they towed it away this morning with all my belongings inside. <laughs> It was really, really bad. I am fool, man. I'm getting tired of your stories, man. It seems like in every single story, you progressively get more stupid and more and more stupid. Like I, like, I can't get over how stupid you are. I can't get, get over how stupid you are in your stories. I almost don't want to believe they're real. I almost don't want to believe it, but man, I know deep and down inside that they are real because you're literally not stupid. <laughs> Please, stop. Please, stop. Stop, stop getting fat on me. I'm getting real sad here. All right, fool, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one more chance. You know, I'm give you one more story. You know, I'm, I'm gonna just give you one more story because you know what? I, you, you, you kind of getting entertaining. You know, this kind of reminded me of that one scene from the Goonies. You know, where where Chunk keeps on telling, you know, the the, the Fratellis everything that's been going on. You know, he literally tells them everything. <laughs> you know, that was a really funny scene. But anyways, it, you know, anyways, I'm kind of, you know, to be fair, you know, with how stupid you're being. This is kind of entertaining. This is kind of amusing. Don't, don't you agree, Alex? 
<laughs> oh, well, I, I do agree. <laughs> well, he is pretty funny. You know, too bad I gotta choke him out later and then, you know, rip his vocal cords from, from, from his throat and then, and then stop both, jab both of his eyes out with my thumbs. <laughs> too bad. You know, it's, it's uh, some real funny talent here. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, a fox has gotta do what a fox has gotta do. Oh, please don't do that. Oh, please, I, I love my eyes. Uh, and, I, and I don't really like my voice much, but I like being able to talk. Fool, just tell me what you spent my money on one last time. Because I'm pretty sure you have a lot more stories, but fool, man, like, I, 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 like, I, I ain't even playing no more. I'm going to give you one more story before we decide to just beat you up, okay? You know, so what you spent my money on. Okay. So, look, I, I took a spiritual trip to Wisconsin. You know, and the reason why, you know, and I, and I remember asking you for the funds beforehand because I knew that it was going to take a lot of gas because we live in the South and and to the places that I wanted to go, I was going to spend a lot of money on. You know, so I knew I needed to borrow a whole lot of money from you, you know. So I took a spiritual trip to Wisconsin, you know, and, and back when I had the car before it got a poop blasted poop on, you know, by the local Mount Terrace. But anyways, you know, so I, so I went to Wisconsin to find the world's largest block of cheese. And oh boy, I sure do love cheese! My cheese? Man, well, fool you, my cheese is disgusting, man. And it's, you know, I, I hate cheese. You know, I especially hate it whenever you, whenever you, you be washing the dishes, and you know, it's after a night that you could cook a whole bunch of the spaghetti with some extra cheese, extra sauce, but then all that cheese stays onto the plate. You know, and you can't wash it up. You try all you can. You try scrubbing it off. You even try using a steel wool. You try to freaking scrape it off, but man, nothing, absolute nothing works, and you, you end up having to throw the whole damn plate away because none of that cheese want to get off. Man, all that sticky ass cheese, man, I cannot. Handle cheese. And you say you love cheese? I'll just give you a good smacking for loving cheese. Ow! 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 That's for loving cheese, fool. Ow! And that's for putting all the cheese on my dishes. But I didn't. I didn't even put any cheese on your dishes. Ow! I go slap me for whatever I want, fool. I'll make up any kind of reason what what whatsoever. Ow! 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 Okay. Okay. Please let me tell my story. All right, fool. Go ahead and proceed. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So. While I was over there, I, 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 I took a look, you know, at the, at the Grand Bible Museum they had over there. You know, it was nearly built at the time, you know, and, you know about eight months ago. So, you know, it, it was newly built over there, the Grand Bible Museum. And, you know, it, 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 was, it was great. It was really cool because as a priest, you know, I'm very enthusiastic about Bible-related things. You know, I mean, naturally, right? You know, so... You know, I, so I went, so I took a look around, I saw all the ancient artifacts that they had, you know, from all over the Middle East, from all over Mesopotamia, from all over Israel. It was really cool. As a matter of fact, they, 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 they even had Jesus' diapers over there. I mean, it was a real trip, you know? But anyways, you know, just you know, just, just going on forward, you know, I, I, like, I saw the best thing my eyes have ever laid eyes on, you know? I saw... The world's largest gold-plated Bible made entirely out of cheese! Oh, man, gold and cheese, my two favorite things, along with the Bible! <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, like, it was it was the, the best thing I've ever smelled, the best thing i ever looked at, the best thing i ever paid for. You know, and, and I bought it for, and then I look, I don't, look, at this case, I do not regret wasting your money because that was not a waste. I bought it for $130,000. $130,000 for, are you crazy? How have you lost your damn mind? <laughs> I don't mind, I don't care. You know, you can say what you want, but that holy cheesy Bible made of gold plates. You know, it was great. It was the best investment I've ever made. You know, I'll give you that. You know, it was a great read and I'm astonishingly good to eat. You know, because I had to read, I decided to read the entire thing before I I, 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 I ate it, you know? And while well, it's just, it takes me a long time to read, that cheese aged finely with no mold whatsoever. And oh boy, it was good. It was so good. <laughs> oh boy, man, I give you a good punching for that. Ow, my tooth, my tooth is missing. Oh, my tooth, oh, my lucky tooth. You got a lucky tooth? <laughs> It was to push my last baby tooth. Now my well, now my adult tooth is gonna kick and I'm never gonna have a memory of it when I was a kid. Man, fool, I'll, I'll knock some memories in. I'll knock some memories out of you and I'll put some sense into you. Ow! 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 Okay, okay, stop. Please, let me finish my story. But, 
So, anyways, so I got back home, and I, uh, you know, on the way home, I stopped by the Circle K for some gas. And this guy, he gave me some really, really weird looking candy. You know, and, and this guy, let me tell you, he looked like a real life pirate. You know, and with his teeth being all messed up, kind of like how mine are right now. And, you know, he, had, he even had a bandana on. He had a knife stuck in his side, you know, kind of like how I did earlier. And, he, he, and you know what? He even smelled like piss, kind of like I do right now. Oh my God, I think I'm a pirate. But anyways, well, let's keep on going on. You know, so he smelled like piss. And, and therefore, you know, I mean, just analyzing everything, I... You know, I, I, I came to the conclusion that he was obviously a foreigner from a third world country and he was selling this rare, weird looking candy that he comes from only his country that we don't get here in the US. You know, and, 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 and so and I figured that's why it also costed me $500 for a small bag of five weird looking M&Ms. Five look, what, what, do, you, what, what, do, you, do you know, newsflash man, do you even know what drugs look like? Look, I don't do drugs and I don't believe in drugs. I believe in God. But look, anyway, look, look I, I ate them, and then suddenly I began seeing a lot of strange things, and I mean a lot of goofy things, you know, like I saw I was seeing colors everywhere, just goofy and weird colors and things just, you know, all over the place, you know, I, and one time, I swear, I was flying around the world, and I was flying around the world, I, I, I you know, I tried spreading the word of God to everybody, you know, I tried spreading the gospel, but the problem was, is that it all came out in Japanese, and, you know, and, 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 then the, and the next thing I knew, I started seeing other weird things. You know, the one thing that I can remember from the top of my mind was I Care Bear trying to pick a fight with Jesus. It was really weird. Like, I'm not sure what I was going through. Fool, that's not like you were having a bad trip, fool. You've been having a bad trip. Look, I, I maybe it was a sugar rush or something. I mean, come on, it can't be just fool. Listen to me right now. I'm going to give you some good advice. You were hot. Those are drugs you took. Uh, you know what? Fine. You know, maybe there were drugs. You know, maybe that would also explain why I just I suddenly blacked out and just woke up on top of the skyscraper. You know, just, uh, like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how long time has passed. All I knew was my car was nowhere to be found. I was butt naked. I was on top of a skyscraper and, pe and the helicopters were searching all around me going, you are not Spider-Man. You are not King Kong. Get down. And I was like, how did I get up here? You know, and, and they, they started shooting at me and then I fell down. Somehow I survived. Oh yeah, I remember how I survived. My blubber. Oh, I, I I hate referring to that. It's not it's not my blood. So fool, let, let me get this straight. So with all your stories put together with all your nonsense, just complicate couple you know, compiled into one ongoing series of events for the past 18 months. You you mean to tell me all that money you bought for me? You spent it all on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. No, 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 no. Look, first of all, I don't even like rock and roll. I prefer Southern Black Gospel myself. You know, and, and, you know, and those weren't even drugs. They were obviously expired M&Ms. And, I mean, get this. I only paid one hooker to spend the night with me. But only so, you know, she, she, you know, only so I could have someone to hug me while I cried myself to sleep that night. Sucker, do you realize how much of my money you wasted? Uh, no, I lost count after 5,000, you know, over there at the casino. And I, quite honestly, I kind of stopped caring after $5,001. Ooh, bruh. You know, I'm like, ooh, bruh, suck. I'm all, man, I'm gonna kill you. You know what? Oh, 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 well, what, what, what happened to that money? Come <laughs> on, look. You see, I need a toilet paper. And, and of course, you know, because of what happened, you know, back you know, last year, 2020, you know, there, there was, you know, there was none. And so I needed your money for, for, for you know, for paper. You know, wait, what? Wait, you you, you bought some toilet paper? And, uh, okay, look, it's going to sound really, really bad, but I literally used your money for toilet paper, you know, because there was no toilet paper to be found in the store. All the factories that were making the toilet paper didn't have any. Didn't have any materials. You know, it was it was it was really really bad. You know, and look, to be honest, I don't like how the leaves and trash feel on my on my butthole. You know, and a hundred dollar bills feel so so much better. And uh, maybe if I had more 
you know, more more copies of The Great Gatsby. I could also, you could have used those, but, you know, but the, but the problem is I ran out of those too. But man, a hundred dollar bills felt so good on my bottle. Whoa, 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 Vu, man, you get nasty and nasty about a second. I'll shoot you for that. Whoa, 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 wait, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Look, I knew those bills were counterfeit anyways. You know, it's kind of obvious, you know, you could just like, you know, make more. That's not how it works. But we created our own economy. You over here just vibing it all with your butt. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a couple shots. No, wait. Ah! <laughs> how do those bullets not bounce on my blubber? Man, because I ain't using the rubber bullets. No, I'm using the real thing. Yeah. No, no, no. no. It hurts so much. No, no. Okay, please. So, okay, look. Uh, to be fair, I I didn't use all of the money for toilet paper. I also had to buy fruit, is because you know that was the high demand too. But because I don't own a kitchen, I went to Soy Soy's Chinese buffet and well, I kind of made the cook mad. I, I I applied for the job, quote unquote. I applied for the job, you know, and, and because hold on, I needed another, you know, I, I because I needed. I, 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 you know, another job for, for money because I'm super broke. I, ju I, I just wanted to eat all the food, you know, he, he get in and get paid for it. Wait, wait, wait. So you telling me you apply for a job just so you can, yeah, just so you can eat this guy's food as it comes in and just get paid for eating it? Man, fool, you're a disgrace. You, you're a disgrace. Man, I run an illegitimate business all over the city of Kent Snow. And you over here doing this illegitimate thing in a legitimate place. Man, fool, uh, yeah, th there is no redemption for you, fool. Look, okay, look, we were going through a lot of things. Everybody was going through a lot of things out here. And look, and eventually, and look, and it's not like he, he was dumb. He eventually found out about it. You know, because his fat sumo son copy and began to, you know, the pro wrestle me. And, well, I lost. And, well, I, I kept getting, kept making bets that, you know, he'd lose to me if we fought. You know, I keep making bets that he'd lose to me if I, we fought again. And I lost all 58 times. And then he eventually told Soy Soy, you know, the actual owner. And, well, now I owe Soy Soy over $42,000 and his son $58,000. Yes, I know. Now I over. I know. Now I owe over two hundred thousand dollars on top of what I owe the hospital, on top of what I owe you, and top of what I owe the casino guy. You know, I know. I'm in lots of debt right now, but that's why. I, but you know, that's why I need, I need to come to you, big buffo. I, that's why I need to come to you. Nobody comes to my church anymore. Nobody tithes anymore. So I need your assistance to kind of wait. What are you doing? What are you? Doing? No! Whoa! 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 What are you doing? No! Okay, please. No! No! Don't hog tie me! No! I, 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 I Mountain terrorist! Why, why, why do you keep spending all my money, fool? Why do you keep spending all when you get it, fool? Why don't you try to pay me back every once in a while? <laughs> I'm always going through a lot of things, and uh 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 fool. Now, you, you always saying that. Now, you always saying that, but you ain't saying nothing to back it up, fool. Alright, fur, give him another shock. I told you, my name is not Furry, it's Alex the Fox. And anyways, I'll be more than glad to choke this guy. Please stop. Oh man, this feels so good. You're screaming, throw it in the end of the grass of my hands. It feels so great, doesn't it? What does it? Alright, we'll set it down now. Okay. Can you please stop torturing me? <laughs> no, that's no. No. What kind of things are you always going through? I, I, I just told you them all. For the past 18 months, I've been facing nothing but bull crap, man. Yeah, bull crap indeed. Alrighty, here. Wait, what are you doing? You already got me hogtied. Wait, you're putting me upside down? Wait, what are you doing? What? What? what are you trying to give me a blood rush to my head? Are you trying to pretend I'm a vampire? What are, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Oh, man, what are we going to use you as a pinata? You know, me, me and my crew, even even Mr. Fox over here. It's Alex the Fox. Wait, whatever your name is. You know, we all got bats here, and we're going to treat you like a human pinata. Wait, what? what? But I don't even have any candy inside of me. Like hell, you don't. We're going to gonna beat you till we beat you bust open and we're gonna sell your organs on the dark web <laughs> that's how you're gonna repair all your debts no no <laughs> all righty here we go finally at the window man 
<laughs> okay. Here you go, master. Oh, sorry it took us over an hour to make these nuggets. Oh, I, I, I mean wings. Sorry, sorry, I, I meant wings. It's okay, dude. It's okay. You good, you good. Okay, master. Well, it, just the thing about these free wings is that, well, they're not really free. Anyways, uh, it's been so long I forgot how much I charged you. So go ahead and just have the whole meal for free. Okay, cool. All right. Nice birthday, non-birthday present ever. All right. Say, you know what? Uh, what is it, master? Well, uh, well, uh, can you please hurry it up? You have like a long line behind you. Okay, well, okay, so I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it short, snap, and I'm gonna get right to the point. Okay, so, you have a nice voice. You know what, why don't you come into the show sometime? Here, here, see this paper? Here, here, you're invited onto the show. Just come to the studio at that date, and, uh, well, yeah, we'll give, we'll give you a, well, I'll give you a spot on, uh, onto my show. Okay, 3 a.m. Uh, oh, well, okay, I guess I can come in that late. Well, Okay, master. And hey, what seems to be the problem here? Well, there's actually no problem here, sir. He, 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 he got his booties. He ought to be on his way now, right? <laughs> right, master? Uh, yes, yeah, sure am. Uh, hey, hey uh, like, uh, who, who, who are you? You, I mean, you, you look, you look kind of good. I mean, who, who are you? Well, I am the manager of this place. I am Cory Monroe Port. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, don't know any significance of you, but you do look like you would be a host of a, of a late night show or something. I know. I get that a lot. Okay. Well, uh, hey, actually, I invited your, your uh, you know, your employee onto my show because I, because I kind of like the sound of his voice. Why don't you come onto the show as well? Well, you know, just look at that little piece of paper and both of y'all just show up right to the studio, man. We'll, uh, we'll give you an interview. Alrighty. Sounds very good. Now, if you excuse me, Barnhart, I need you to get back to work. Okay. <laughs> Okay, master. I'm gonna hit you again if you don't get back to work. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, master. Just, just, just not again. Just don't, just, not the socks, not the socks. Okay, I don't even want to know what that means. But okay, <laughs> see you guys. Oh, see you, master. You better get back to work, or I'm gonna give you the sock. Okay, okay, master. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back. Finally got my wings, and oh boy, man, man, these wings are good. I'm so glad I went in an hour for these, and they're still warm. What in good heavens is this? You know we're, we're supposed to be getting Mr. Bill out of here, and we waited over an hour just for your return. Why can't I? Haven't I just been able to use my nanotechnology to just kind of get Bill out of here? Yes, uh, and I could have used my paws of fury. I, I could have been beating up those mole people right now. They're probably mulling him right now. Yes, you know, I, I just came out of the ventilation shaft. You know, I even left your, your other microphone in there. And I've heard the entire conversation, all of Mr. Bill's stories. And let me tell you, he's one really weird guy. And uh, But any, anyways, look, uh, like the, the point is, is that they have him hog tied up right now. You know, they're good. He's got all, you know, Big Mofo in his tag of ragtags. You know, they, they, they have these big baseball bats and they're gonna treat him like a human pinata if we don't hurry now they're gonna beat the living snot out of him and in fact they're gonna beat him until all of his organs burst out and they're gonna sell him on the dark web okay hold on okay so why haven't you guys done anything yet because we're waiting for you you're the planner it was your idea to come over here and for me to use my nanotechnology to figure out the insides of the building and that's we can you know, go save this guy you know but we, we have accomplished nothing an hour has passed and you're over here ending wings uh, how dare you get wings and not share? Uh, I mean, how dare you get wings in, 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 uh, at a time like this where, where we can uh, we can be saving this guy and I can be killing those mole people? Uh, okay, um, hold on, I'm eating. Okay, so now that my head's clear, now that my head's clear because of the fact that I am not, no longer hungry or hangry, Okay, so here's my grand plan. You guys ready? Yes! We've been waiting this entire time! Yes, my boy! We've been waiting for so long that I've almost forgotten why we're here! You know, I'm going to see now, you know. You know. Come on, brother! They're gonna beat them up in there! Okay, okay. Hold on. So, here's the plan. So, I know you got the map planned out. I know he's ready to fight. And I know, George, you've been hearing the entire thing. So, we compile all that information together. <sighs> okay. Here's my, here's my master plan. You guys are probably gonna like it a bit too much because you know it's, it's gonna be this easy. Easy? Easy, you say? Easy? Well, how easy? Okay, 
<laughs> so first of all, we get the Wixwood over here. You are gonna use your nanotechnology to create some kind of a circular portal. You know, kind of like in those uh, Doctor Strange movies. And uh, you know, you're gonna create a portal, and we're gonna go inside, right? You know, kind of, kind of that way. And then you know, what? And then Polar Blast over here. Well, he's gonna use his paws and his Polar Blast powers. You know, to kind of beat up all the uh, all the gangsters. I, I, I mean, mole people. Yeah, mole people, not gangsters. I mean, they're mole people disguised as gangsters. Yeah, you're damn right. And Georgie. Well, you're gonna do your Georgie things. You got, you got, you, you, you got banana peels on you. Oh, so, oh, I always have banana peels on me. Just in case we wanted to play, uh, you know, real life Mario Kart. Okay, cool, awesome, terrific. All right, everybody, get it. That's that's the plan we're going with this entire time. We could have just done that ourselves. Or you're over there at the Wing King. I don't care anymore. I'm not even angry about that anymore. I just want to beat up the mole people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking, Polar Blast. Everybody be like Polar Blast. You know, he, he's enthusiastic. <laughs> you have no idea what the, the pain he's going through, and you're waiting for weeks. Okay, every, like, let's just hurry. Wixer, Harry, the, the portal, please. Open out the portal. All righty, as you say so. All right, magic portal waiting. All righty, everybody in. Wait, what, what's that? Why do we all circle up and- Man, Mr. Bell, are you getting into more things again? No, please! Everybody, help! They got bastards are gonna use me as a giant pinata! Don't worry, man. We're here to save you. All right, Polo Blast. Sick him. Ah, uh, more people! Ah, wait, what is this? Oh, 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 ah, everybody, send your guns blazing. Everybody, oh, he's got me in his paw. Okay, yeah, shoot, shoot this dude, shoot this dude down. Not if I can do anything about this. Using my nanotechnology, I shall deactivate all of your guns. <laughs> yes, the power of nanotech, of magic. <laughs> Feel just like I was it, but even better. <laughs> All right, banana peels. All right, <laughs> everybody, you're gonna slip. Don't make a single step. You will fall hit on your head, and I will laugh really hard. All righty. So, looks like uh, look, looks like everything is being taken care of here. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. I'm gonna have so much fun beating up these guys. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are popping down like flies. They're so weak, uh, uh, as expected from mole people. <laughs> mole people? What do you mean, Big Mofo? Who is this? Why does he think I'm a mole person? <laughs> That's exactly what a mole person would say. <laughs> you, Big Mofo, you must be, you must be the Grand Mole. Come here. Wait, what do you mean, Mofo? I mean, I will bust my shotgun at you. <laughs> oh, 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 what is it? What is it? Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, a giant bear, a, a wizard-looking guy, and a and a dude with long hair that's throwing banana peels around. Oh, this is a now oh, this shirt is a party. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, <laughs> get ready to get stabbed. <laughs> and if I could do anything about this nanotechnology, turn his shank into a banana. <laughs> what, what is this? A banana? Wait a second. Ooh. What is this? Huh? Nanotechnology? What is it doing to my hand? Wait, huh? Whoa, go! Uh, I've been imprisoned. No, not, not again. Oh no. Alrighty, see? Now, wasn't that easy, y'all? We could have done this earlier. Uh, 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 I don't mind anymore. I've taken down the more people. Oh, I'm always talking about mole people and magic and bananas. What the hell's going on here? I said silence, mole person! <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna be out for a while. <laughs> Alright, you okay, Mr. Bill? Just get me down from here! Okay, okay, let's let's go. Uh, okay, uh, there is no bed, no trampoline, no nothing here. Okay, uh, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of untie you up. <laughs> Oh, 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 man, that really hurt. Oh, I let it straight on my back. Oh, okay, okay, so we're gonna unhog tie you now. All right, so, aside from all the mental trauma you supposedly went through, and besides, no, nearly getting beaten to death like a pinata, how do you feel? I'm, t 
I don't feel all right at all. I feel like I, 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 I feel so violated in many ways than one. And let me tell you, it does not feel good. It does not feel good at all. I, I want out of here. Okay, well, well, I mean, that's good. That's good. You know, well, you want to know why? Why are we dealing with some more bull crap around here? No, no, okay. No, I'm, I'll be glad to tell you that the bull crap ends here, okay? Look, we already took down Big Mofo and his gang of ragtags, okay? It was all easy said and done because you know we we, you know, we had in a small we had a small team here, okay. We don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> so now, you know, we, you get to finally meet your son. You know he he's you know he's he's waiting at the school right now. <sighs> but look at me, I got I'm gushing out the blood. I I am all I, I'm all slapped up. My hair is a mess. It, it, I look terrible. Well, don't worry. We'll just come on. We'll we'll we'll, we'll swing by a, a, uh, yeah Aunt Jamama's place. Yeah, you know, she'll, you know, she'll fix you right back up. But my clothes! God, yeah, don't worry, she, she already worked ahead of that. You know, she's got a new outfit for you and everything. You're finally gonna meet your son, man. How do you feel? <sighs> well, after everything that's went on today, well, I can honestly say, kinda good. I'm kinda glad that something positive is finally going on. Okay, that's the spear. All right, George, you get the car started. All right, every, all, all right you know, Wixer, Polar Blast, You've done a great job. I'm calling 911. The police are going to be here any minute to you know, wrap these guys up because they are wanted criminals. And so I need y'all to get out of the scene because I don't want y'all to go to prison, okay? All right, everybody, let's roll out. All right, finalissimo. <laughs> All right, I'm, go I'm going somewhere cold. It's too hot here. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's go. All right, let's, let's get into the truck. Well, let me tell you, that last fight, you know that, that was very anticlimactic. I'm still mad at the fact that we had to wait for you. You, ha you were at the freaking Wing King for over an hour. Wait, what? You were, wait, what, huh? what's going on here? Okay, so, <laughs> Mr. Bill, you're, okay, so I'm pretty sure you don't like this guy already, but you're really not gonna like this guy. So, what happened was, you know, we came over here, you know, like, a long time ago, you know? So, so we came back to the warehouse, you know, after a whole espionage of it. I mean, I mean, like, literally. Like, we made an entire podcast of this. We even, we even met up with Santa Claus. But, but anyways, no. That's not the point, you know? So, we finally arrived at this place, and then this dude over here decides he's hungry. You know, see? He, he goes all the way to Wing King down the street, you know? And he's waiting for his special birthday wings for... Uh, I don't know how many minutes. It was like a lot of minutes. It was like 60 something. I don't know. It was a lot of minutes, right? It was so many minutes. And I was recording you that entire time through the ventilation shaft. You know, and the reason why we were waiting for him for so long was because the whole, he was the planner. You know, he, he, he was going to use his master plan brain skills or whatever to, to kind of bring us in and, and, uh, and uh, kind of sneak in, take the guys out one by one, and then bring you out of there. But then he comes in with a stupidly simple plan. You know, it, 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 it just use all of our powers together to kind of, it, it, it kind of forcefully get you out of it, and it worked. But I'm still mad at the fact that we had to wait an entire hour. Okay, calm down, Georgie. Calm down. Okay, look, look. Okay, Mr. Bill, you gotta understand. I was really hungry. I, I, I was telling all my silly stories. Like, I mean, they were silly, but they were true. But I, 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 I was interrogated. I was slapped. I was stabbed and shot. And but you were over here waiting at a drive-thru? Okay, I know. I know that sounds bad, man. But, hey, let me tell you. You're out of there now, aren't you? I, I, now I'm pissed at you. Okay, look. Look, I'm the guy that's going to be driving you back to Aunt Mama's house. And I'm going to be also the guy to drive you to your son. Okay, come on. Can, can you please just chill out of it, dude? Oh, besides, I also need to end the podcast. Podcast? You are making a podcast this entire time? Well, I mean, kind of, yeah. Like, I mean, <laughs> I did send Georgie in there with the, with the microphone to kind of record you. You were saying all, all, all those crazy things that entire hour. What? I don't want any of that stuff leaking out into the internet. Uh, well, I mean, too late. You know, it's already on there. By the time, yeah, by, by the time we finish the sentence, it's already going to be on there. Wait, what? No, no, no. That's not good. Ah, uh, well, whatever. You make great content, Mr. Bill. But anyways, all right, so let me go ahead and sign off. All righty, so guys, thank you for making it this far. Thank you for listening to all of Mr. Bill's really weird 
money grabbing stories, you know? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this dude lives a crazy life. He literally does go through a lot of things. Am, am, am I right? <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, I don't want any of this going out to online. Please, no, 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 no. Uh, it, 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 it's already too late, man. But anyways, alrighty. From your friends over here at 3 a.m. Thoughts, we wish you a happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, Merry Kwanzaa, Merry Happy New Year's, Merry Valentine's Day, Merry St. Patrick's Day, Merry Summer Solstice, Merry... I'm gonna just get on with it. Okay, anyways, yeah, whatever, 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 you know. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on Spotify. And don't forget to click that bell. Uh, don't forget to click that bell if you're if you're listening to this on YouTube. Anyways, this is Asiago on 3 AM Thoughts signing off. Have you a good one? Oh yeah, you better have a good one because I sure hadn't had a good one. Okay, just calm down. All right, all right, here we go.